Good morning. Wednesday, August 15th, 2024. Yes, here we are, fighting the good fight. Staying faithful, walking with God, encouraging others. <clears throat> I guess we shall see. Well, where are you? Come on. Some days I wonder, <clears throat> wonder what uh, goes on with this thing. Susan, good morning. Peggy, good morning. There we go. Carrie Lee, tell Nelson howdy. Mm -hmm. All right. Jody, good morning. Hope things are nice and warm over there in Salt Lake. <laughs> I saw Wyoming I-80 had some snow yesterday somewhere on Interstate 80. And so, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm, I'm ready for that. I'm not. I know I'm not. <laughs> no snow. No, no, no. <clears throat> yes, it is a good morning. Yeah, beautiful day. Supposed to be pretty here today, tomorrow. Uh, some of this moisture moving out, which right now is probably a good thing. We are soaked, that's for sure. Uh, I know guys in our church that are <clears throat> trying to get the haylage cut. So, <clears throat> just tell Nelson howdy. That's all I said. Don't, don't tell Nelson anything else. Just tell him I said hello. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I uh, uh, am not going to be on here tomorrow, so I am <clears throat> taking a day, or at least part of a day, and uh, I am I'm going to try to take the boat out and go fishing for a little while, and I might actually catch something. Um, I am not going here in Colorado. <laughs> I'm going to try to go over to uh, Swanson Reservoir, which is on the east side of Binkelman. So <clears throat> about a two and a half hour drive. So I'm going to get up early and go. And uh, I heard that uh, the catfishing is really good over there. I Who knows? I may go over there and just waste a lot of gas and time. But uh, I got to get the boat out again. Uh, before the season is completely over and hopefully we'll be able to catch something. So I will not be on here tomorrow, um, but Lord willing, we'll be back on Monday. Uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, stop doing this. Um, there's just going to be times where I won't be able to be on here, but we're, we'll continue to do these devos and, and as long as it looks like it's helping and uh, encouraging others, we'll just keep doing it and stay in the fight, right? <clears throat> and so we'll, uh, so no worries on that. I'm not going to be uh, quitting anytime soon. As far as I know, we'll stay on here unless Facebook boots me. I do find it interesting yesterday uh, when I was talking the politics and stuff and actually the rest of the, the morning, the Wi-Fi was acting really weird at uh, church, and the the church's Wi-Fi is uh, fiber optic, and well, so it, it is here now too, and here at our home, and it's definitely a whole lot better here at home. Yesterday, my Wi-Fi was doing really weird things, up and down. Some of you were having a, having some problems watching it. I don't know, but. Uh, <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll see, but anyway, we're on here, a uh, couple of things that you might want to be aware of. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but yesterday, uh, 2.7 billion social security numbers were hacked, uh, biggest hack in history. Uh, I don't know. Do any of you guys have, uh, any kind of like, life lock or anything like that. I, I don't. Um, I'm just curious if anybody on here has something like that. 
I uh, would be curious if you like it and if it really works or not. Who knows? I'm, I mean, there's of the 2.7 billion numbers that were hacked. I guarantee you there's a whole lot more on there that have a whole lot more to offer than I do. <laughs> uh, but I, I have no idea. I don't know what they'll do with that. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? That uh, all the junk that's hacked these days and Oh, well, you know, and here we have that. We can hack into the Social Security numbers, but nobody could hack uh, Hillary's emails back in the day. Nobody can hack the junk that they're hiding today. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure if those hackers actually tried to hack into some of these political things, there'd be like 2,700 demons that uh, come out and... Uh, take you out. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I, what else did I see? Oh, yeah. A couple of things. Uh, Kamala, she came out or uh, posted somewhere. She has an interview with anyone as far as I know yet. But said that she is going to maybe even sign some kind of executive order uh, for food price controls. Uh, how communistic can can we take this country when she is going to fix prices? Uh, hey, Kamala, <clears throat> why don't you uh, start using that, that gray matter between your ears and behind your eyeballs and think about the green energy that you guys are worshiping Mother Earth and stop doing that. Get on your knees and ask God for forgiveness and then... Start using the natural resources that God has given us and and drill, baby, drill. <laughs> uh, but no, instead, here we are. We're going to uh, kill everyone. And she, you're right. I don't think she has any gray matter. And then the next, I have a serious question. Where's Joe? Where is Joe? Why, 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 why do we not hear... And no one, no one, I mean, no news, Breitbart even, and the, the conservative, Newsmax, and these places. Where is Joe? Okay? Who is running the country today? It's supposed to be Joe. Where's Joe? Come on, somebody tell me. Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he in a nursing home? Is he on a life support? I don't know. Is he spending the weekend with Bernie? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. I mean, did, did, did they just, uh, it, you, know, you just want to choke the press sometimes, don't you? That, uh, uh, I, I don't get it. I don't understand that. Uh, where is Joe? He is our president. He ought to be out in front of everything. And he's nowhere to be found. And nobody makes a big deal of it. Because everybody knows Joe hasn't been there for four years. He's not even... He, he, <laughs> and we just move on, and we ignore it, and we and not a Republican is saying anything either. And they're a bunch of jack wagons, and, and most of them are hellions, and most of them are on their way to hell, and, and, and we expect them to run the country fairly, equally, and, and, and transparently. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to get me a bumper sticker and fly a big flag that says, where's Joe? <clears throat> I want to know, all right? <clears throat> oh, man, this is crazy. Craziness, craziness, craziness. And we have absolutely no one asking the question except me. <laughs> My wife is shaking her head. <clears throat> She's getting ready to leave. She has to go to town and meet up with a client <clears throat> and I'm sure the one client they ever watch my videos they will probably fire her too <laughs> oh and then Thane uh, he gets a text from a, a, a gentleman in our church that uh, has been uh, standing up for uh, conservative values, standing up for Christianity, standing up for why he's a Christian and why he votes for Trump. Um, 
and uh, has really been catching it. And and uh, it, it's uh, interesting uh, the name calling, and and he was getting pretty upset about it. And I just say, hey, welcome to the jungle, guys. This is what it's about. You're going to stand up for what's right. Are you? Uh, you stand up for what the Bible says, well, you're going to tick people off. So be it. Tick them off and move on and get some tough hide and and stand and be strong and and um, be faithful to the word of God. And, and uh, they they get loud. We get louder and and we can do it kindly and we can we can be uh, considerate in how we do it, but we can also be obstinately stubborn about not veering from what the Word of God says and don't change it and stand for what's right. And it just really doesn't matter what they think. They're all they're, they don't understand it. All they're doing is, is killing everybody. <laughs> they are. I mean, they're, they're, they're lunacy. The, Worshiping Mother Earth, the uh, shaking their fist at Almighty God, uh, the I mean, all of that is, is just uh, uh, waking up the 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 wrath of God upon our country, and the only thing that's keeping that from completely destroying this country are the prayers and the faith and the obedience of the believers today. So stand strong. And no, hey, the devil is a formidable uh, uh, opponent and enemy, and he cheats, and he doesn't play fair. And what we have to do is walk close to God and, and stay under his umbrella of protection and just be faithful and stay there and do that, and you'll see God do great things. This is what Nehemiah said in, in verse 39 of chapter 10. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the corn, of the new wine, and the oil unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests that minister, and the porters, and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our God. And there you go. That's what we need to, to do the same. And we, we don't forsake our faith. We don't just we don't forsake our obedience to the word of God. We don't forsake our local church. I mean, the, the fellowship of other believers is vital and, and it's encouraging and it just shows you and gives you hope for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the country. And let's never stop that. I mean, we had a sweet fellowship and uh, last night at church uh, and I know people are, are extremely tired and, and, but we had what I called a pep rally last night. We we had uh, we had prayer, we had eating, and we had preaching, and so it was a pep rally last night. We we had food left over from the funeral yesterday, so we um, we pray, we took prayer requests, we prayed, then I did a short Bible study in Proverbs two, and then we spent the rest of the evening eating and fellowshipping and encouraging it, and it was very encouraging. It is. It's a Great time where, where people share their burdens with each other. I saw people sitting around talking about some issues that they're going through and, and other friends there encouraging them and helping them, instructing them, and and then even praying for them. And uh, that's what it's all about. And we just got to keep keep going and, and stay strong and and know that... Uh, uh, I'm I'm telling you, it was just a it was a good night, and you need that. And we will not forsake the house of our God. Old Testament, God wanted them to meet. New Testament, God uh, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. You're not a island in your own, and and you're not some lone wolf that thinks you can handle things on your own. You'll get eaten by the lion in a heartbeat. And let's stay together and find out how truly important it is that uh, to, to be together. And, uh, and, and look, I, I understand not everybody can make that. I know that. And, uh, and, and I'm glad people watch Betty. I'm glad you, you know, were able to watch that. I'm glad that Mel brought the frog eyed salad, man, that it's all gone. <laughs> oh, and it just, uh, I, I don't know. And yesterday, 
was was you know kind of a heavy day with that funeral and and wanting to help the family during that time of grief and then you come into the meal and and that um, food is love and and it does encourage you we had so many people there that helped out and and so thankful for that and then uh last night we have a good ch- church service and then last night Tyler and Kinsey announced that they're going to be having a little girl and so our second grandbaby is going to be a little girl and we're excited about that and and it just uh by the end of the night it was a good night and she's trying to call me she knows that I'm hmm I'll have to call her back that's important <laughs> all right but we we d- do not forsake the house of our God, and and let's let's keep doing that, and let's keep praising Him for who He is. I Psalm thirty four. You you want an uplifting, you want an uplifting song? Then uh, read Psalm thirty four. I mean, he starts out. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look, oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. You know, it, be encouraged with, with friends that that uh, encourage you to walk with God, and and. Uh, let us do that today, this morning, you know, let's exalt his name. Let's praise him. I mean, the, the, these politicians, they can even president, you know, president Trump can do all he can to make a, make it a better country. And, and he probably can economically. And, and I praise the Lord for what he did with the, think if he wouldn't have gotten the Supreme court justices in that he got in, where would we be today? I, I mean, I'm uh, uh, thankful for the, the things that he did. Thankful Roe versus Wade got overturned. Yeah, it, it, they're still killing babies, but it's hindered it. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful now that you think about that. It, it encouraged other states then to take a stand and say, we're not going to kill babies anymore. And thankful for that. And uh, too bad Colorado is one of the, the biggest uh, children killing states in the country. And and, and we think that God's going to bless that, and no, he's not. But, you know, we keep standing, and, and, and we keep fighting against these things, and, and uh, we, we need to bless the Lord at all times. He's so good to us, so long-suffering. I mean, he should have wiped us out years ago, but he hasn't done it. Thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his long-sufferings. Let's, let's exalt him together and tell others about how good God is, and stand with him, and and just find God to be uh, almighty and magnify him and glorify him. And oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. So two things. Let's get out there. Let's tell somebody about Jesus today. And let's encourage a believer to stand up and walk closer to him and trust him. And along with that, be generous. Be generous with your time. Be generous with, with uh, your, your finances. Be generous with your kindness. It tells us this in, in uh, verse 13 of Proverbs 21. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Now, be generous. Be generous with what you have. Don't be foolish. I'm not saying you have to be foolish, but we ought to be generous with, with our time, talents, and treasures, and always do that, and, and be, be, be kind with those things. And, and then look at this in 1 Corinthians 9. I'm going to end with this, but a couple things in chapter 9 and chapter 10. First of all, stay focused, all right? 1 Corinthians 9, 23, and this I do for the gospel's sake that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that, that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, 
so fight I, not as one that beateth the ear, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. Stay focused, guys. Don't don't let don't let Satan deceive you. And he and he's very very uh, uh, good at that, and and very patient at that, and and hit you at your weak moments. And uh, I mean, there's some real challenges there, but stay focused and and walk with him, and and you'll find that uh, it, everything's going to be okay. And then here, here he then he gives us some commands here of certain things that. Guard yourself against. Look in chapter 10, verse 6, and we'll see a list of this through verse 10. Now, these things were our example to the intent. We should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. That's what's driving so many of our politicians today is the lust, the covetousness, the 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 pride, the the money, the power, and and, and then people in the in the world follow that and think that they uh, need to be influencers and, and all of those things. And look, just mind your own business, live for God, honor him, glorify him, work hard each day, be honest, be kind, be generous, and watch God bless you. And and the, the rest of the world, chase that crazy nightmare all you want. We stand and do what's right. And then he goes on, neither be you idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Don't don't worship anything but God. Don't even worship your own body. Don't don't worship your own self care. Whatever. Yeah, we need to take care of ourselves. But don't worship things that that are created by the hands of God. Worship God. Use your body to honor and please God. That's all it is. Don't make it a billboard advertising yourself and your past and your history or your, even your future. And it's nothing about that. It's all about Jesus and and. Uh, uh, walking and representing our Savior, and don't worship anything other than God himself. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day, three and 20,000. Stop the fornication. Stop the, 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 I mean, everything is sexualized today. Everything. Our kids are told that their identity is is all in their, in their sexual identity. What a joke that is. I, I mean, what an evil, uh, terrible thing to teach our children that that's where your identity is and, and, and letting them think that. And, and so that's why they walk around looking like cats or acting like dogs or, or you know, thinking they want to uh, trans out and, and be something that God didn't create them to be. And, and that's their identity. That isn't their identity. And, and these kids need adults that are going to stand up and say, your identity needs to be in Christ and who he is and how he's created you and live for him. And, and here, stop the fornication, stop the pornography, stop the, the adulterous situations, stop the living together and thinking that God's going to bless your fornication. I mean, we, we think that everything is okay and admissible today and, and, and it's not. <laughs> Do it right. Do it the way God says and stop the, the fornication. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed as serpents. You want to continue to live in sin and, and think that grace is going to cover it? You're tempting God. And what did he say? There were thousands that were destroyed by serpents, then bitten by serpents and died that day. I, I mean, don't, don't tempt God. Don't be presumptuous in, in the things you're doing. Stop doing the things that God don't want you to do. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmur, were destroyed of the destroyer. It, it, that one's a hard one. I'm telling you, you got some, you got uh, some brain dead, jello eating, you know, putty su- put, pudding sucking president who's walking around in his depends and doesn't even know which way's up and down, and, and they're hiding that from us. And they they got some other brain dead vice president who doesn't know what to do. She only does what she's told to do. And sometimes it gets a little aggravating and a little bit hard to to not get angry about things. But we can be angry about the inequities of it. And we can be angry about the unrighteousness and the evil and the wickedness and the godlessness. But we don't need to gripe to God about it. God knows. And, and rather than 
probably doing what I'm doing right now. We need to pray about it and ask God to stop it. Lord, just stop the, the, the trash that's taken over our country and, and, and bring us back where we need to be. And that's what we should be doing. I'm not a very good example sometimes. <laughs> I shouldn't be presumptuous about it either. Need to pray about it and give it to God. Trust him and, and, and stand up for what's right and, and be vocal about Jesus and, and be vocal about righteousness and, and keep standing for that. There's nothing wrong with that. We ought to do that. All right. <laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> Remember, I won't be on here tomorrow. I'm going fishing, and uh, we shall see how that goes. Uh, you, you, I don't know where the barometer is at or anything like that. I just go fishing when I get an opportunity, and this is about the only opportunity I've had this summer. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to uh, run with it. And uh, we'll we'll uh, get into the weekend, ladies. Don't forget tomorrow night or tomorrow morning at eleven. Tomorrow night at seven is ladies' Bible study. Uh, come on out for that. Men, we got prayer breakfast on Saturday. You don't want to forget that. And and uh, church on Sunday, it's going to be a good day. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody. Had a good crowd last Sunday. Let's have another good crowd uh, this Sunday and invite someone to come. And then Lord willing, the creek don't rise. I'll uh, try to be back on here tomorrow or on Monday. God bless you guys. Let's have a great weekend.